Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul Paul's Workshop. Well, it's been about a month now since I purchased this Dust Stopper Pro, and I have been using it in the shop constantly. As you might expect, a lot of sawdust will get on the floor over this past month, and I used the vacuum with the Dust Stopper Pro repeatedly to be able to keep the floor clean. In addition to that, of course, the workbench is going to have sawdust on it constantly, and I do the same thing. I use the Dust Stopper Pro to be able to vacuum up all of this sawdust. The CNC machine is no different. Over this past month, multiple projects have been done using the CNC machine, and you can see the Dust Stopper Pro is in action along with the shop vac. I also use it on the kitchen project here, San Bondo, which creates a extremely small particles of dust, as well as sending off the epoxy ready for the top coat. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg of the different projects that I've used with the Dust Stopper Pro. Now over the past month, even though I've emptied the five gallon bucket several times, I have not actually opened up the vacuum cleaner to see how it's doing. And one of the goals that I had was to eliminate having to clean that filter and changing the filter in the vacuum cleaner. And that was the reason that I had purchased this Dust Stopper Pro. Well, today, together, we're gonna open up that vacuum and see how much dust has been able to accumulate in the vacuum cleaner that has bypassed the Dust Stopper Pro. Should be interesting. So here we go. Let's open up this vacuum and let's see what we find inside. So when I lift off this lid to begin with, the first thing I notice is the filter is almost totally clean. There's just a slight bit of dust that I'm seeing on this. And if I look in the bucket itself, there is just a very thin film of dust that have accumulated on the sides of the bucket itself. So if I rub my finger along there, you can see the dust and it's a very fine dust that has accumulated there. So all in all, not bad. Down at the very bottom of the bucket, there's a very, very small amount of debris. Yeah, I would say not enough to be able to warrant cleaning out this bucket again. So if I show you up close what is on my fingers, you can see that that is a very fine dust. I do think it's probably a mixture of not only the sawdust, but a little bit of that Bondo and a little bit of that epoxy that I had sanded for the kitchen. But other than that, there's not much here. There is one little small piece of sawdust there, but as I shake the filter itself, there's virtually nothing that comes out. So it's not really worth spending the time, or I should say wasting the time to be able to clean it. So when the folks say at the Dust Stopper Pro, that is 99% effective, well, I would have to agree with them. And this solves my problem of having to constantly clean the shop vac. This is gonna be a rarity from now on. So after looking at that vacuum, there's really no need to be able to clean it. It's not bad shape at all. So I'm very, very impressed with the Dust Stopper Pro. And if you have a shop vac in your workshop and you're tired of cleaning the filters, being able to get one of the Dust Stopper Pros might be a real good idea. This is not a sponsored video. This is a uh, product that I purchased and my continuing effort to be able to clean the shop and make it easier to be able to clean. I'm tired of cleaning the shop vac filters. That was just a mess that I hated and avoided doing. Well, with the Dust Stopper Pro, it's been over a month now of pretty much continuous use and I don't have to clean the filter in the vacuum. That I love. I want to show you another vacuum that I have in the shop that does not have the Dust Stopper Pro. When I open this one up, you're going to see a totally different picture. This filter is completely clogged with sawdust, and this is no fun to be able to clean. In addition to that, the bottom of this bucket is about half full of debris, and it desperately needs to be cleaned. So you judge for yourself. Do you want to clean the filter on the left? Or would you rather have the filter on the right with the Dust Stopper Pro? So looking up close, you can see just how clogged this filter is without having the Dust Stopper Pro on it. This filter is going to be a nightmare to clean. I can dump the bucket easy enough, but I'm going to clean this one last time. And then I'm going to get another dust separator to put onto this shop vac. Because I do not ever want to have to clean this again. 
So my goal is to get another dust separator and be able to try that out and put it on this vacuum cleaner after I totally clean it and put a new filter on it. So I know this was a real short video today, but I did want to give a follow-up on the Dust Stopper Pro to be able to show you just how effective that it has been in my shop. And I'm very, very pleased with it. And I'm going to continue to use it and look for more and more ways on how to be able to use it to be able to keep the shop clean and the vacuum clean. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down there and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.